Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for attending our high bay retrofit alternative options for you. I'm just learning that we have a record number of attendees. We really appreciate it. We know your time is valuable and uh, we will not misuse your time. We think that we're bringing you real value today, of course value for your customers. The topics today we're going to cover are uh, additional high bay retrofit options for you and we'll spend a few moments on some retrofit opportunities that we as an industry have kind of passed on in the past due to lack of options. When we talk about high bay basically we're talking about metal halide to a lesser extent high pressure sodium. I don't think that there is anyone in the industry who who thinks that these technologies uh, uh, are energy efficient by any means. I think we agree collectively that these technologies have to be replaced at very least in the high bay applications. The alternatives that we consider today for this application, basically we have the LED option, uh, 20 foot ceilings and above, very difficult, very high cost to achieve that. And although we associate very long life with LED technology, when you put this much power together, it creates a lot of heat. Heat shortens the life and uh, decreases the lumen output pretty steeply. So LED today is not a viable option in our opinion, although with the leaps and bounds of LED technology these days, it will be viable very soon. Induction lighting, which is a, a good light source but has a very high cost associated with it. Retrofitting is difficult. Generally, you're changing the whole fixture when you're looking at induction. Uh, again, mainly due to heat is why you need a whole new fixture. Retrofitting can be touchy if you're not working with the right uh, uh, manufacturer who supplies the kits. Plasma lighting, which is rather new on the scene. Uh, it came out about three years ago with some very limited applications. Uh, it's, uh, it's come a long way, but it still has a long way to go. Uh, a lot of hit, heat issues. Uh, there's a, a generator, or I guess you can call it a ballast, that's very heavy and expensive and uses a lot of energy as well. Plasma is something definitely we're going to keep our eye on going forward, but I think the industry has declared that really the right replacement fixture for high bay applications are the T-bay type fixtures, uh, six lamp T8, six lamp uh, T5, four lamp T8 and T5, program start ballast, motion controls and the like. This is where we all are today. I am Greg Murphy, I'm the product manager at MaxLight and uh, MaxLight is a full line of T-Bay fixtures, and I think that they have their place, but our purpose here today is to offer to you another option, uh, another low-cost option where you can achieve the same results with a much quicker ROI. This technology is known as high-power mogul-based CFLs. For those of you who are not familiar with these high-power mogul-based CFLs, they have been on the market for about seven years now. Uh, we are one of the innovators, one of the first to bring them into the country. I will speak very frankly that early on we had made a lot of mistakes. As a uh, product designer, uh, the approach early on was very wrong. You know, we said, well, we can make a 20-watt a CFL. We'll just multiply the values of all the components times 10, and we'll have a 200-watt CFL. Uh, not so simple. The heat is not linear like that, but in fact is much much different dynamic than a typical CFL but uh, we are very proud to say that uh, uh, we have had a problem free run of high power mogul based CFLs for years now and uh, uh, we have done a great market penetration and we want to share our experience with you on some of our successes. Main advantages of a high power CFL over a linear fixture well, one uh, is obvious, it's a retrofit versus uh, having to replace a whole fixture. As far as your labor, your contractor cost of getting up there to the ceiling, pulling out the old fixture, installing the new one, retrofitting is a piece of cake compared to that. Actually, one trip up to your existing high bay fixture with the replacement bulb and some simple hand tools, and uh, you've got a retrofit done. My personal experience is, uh, takes uh, eight to 10 minutes I have found some big city high cost labor can take much longer than that, but if you know what you're doing, 
It can be done uh, very, very quickly. Basically, your retrofit consists of three simple steps. First, you're going to cut the power going directly to the ballast. You're going to hardwire that power directly to the mogul base socket. And then you're going to screw in the self-ballasted high-power mogul base CFL. Your retrofit is complete. I want to take a minute uh, to share with you a real-life scenario. This particular scenario that you're looking at here is the largest convention center in the United States. By largest, uh, uh, I think that's in dollars revenue. They happen to be in New York City. This chart is comparing a 150-watt high-power CFL supplemented with an accessory that we call an inner reflector. A little more on that later. What we took out were 400-watt uh, metal halide lamps. Where you see the big yellow dots labeled lamp, this is uh, directly where the, the fixture was placed. And the readings that you see are directly below the fixture. As a matter of fact, these measurements were taken in foot candles and on the floor. The ceilings are 23 foot high ceilings. The bottom of the fixture was 20 feet even. What we found was, uh, well, let's go through the numbers. On the top row, the blue is the high power CFL. The red is the metal halide. Very similar on the first, 36 versus 38. 37 versus 32, 39 versus 33. So you can see very similar foot candle readings. Again, on the bottom, also very similar foot candle readings. We also took a measurement at the midpoint uh, between every set of fixtures, and as you can see, we had a significant increase there. That was mainly due to that inner reflector. So as you can see, this is not scotopics. This is no magic here. This is straight foot candle readings. The life of the lamp, a lot of people uh, uh, know the little trick. Uh, you catch a 400 watt metal halide towards the end of its life. The lumens are greatly depreciated. These lamps, uh, these metal halide lamps that we measured in this particular area of the facility had about 3,000 hours life on them. We chose these because they were the newest lamps in the facility and we wanted to have a real comparison. So as you can see, you can maintain or even increase on average the foot candles using a high power compact fluorescent. Here's a couple of shots uh, before and after. On the top side what you're looking at uh, is the lowest wattage member of this high power CFL family. It is a 40 watt. They are designed specifically to go into recess cans and uh, I don't think that this picture actually articulates the vast improvement that they had on the before and after. Taking out Edison-based 100 watt metal halides, replacing it with an Edison-based 40 watt screw-in bulb and dramatically increased the lumen count and the overall look. On the bottom half, same facility, this is actually the convention center floor or one of the three that we retrofitted and uh, uh, this reflects the previous slide as a matter of fact. Everything that I have spoken about so far during our time together this afternoon was about retrofitting. I just want to take one brief moment to talk to you about new construction with these same products. We have a full family of fixtures that go along with these high power CFLs including accessories such as cone lenses and wire guards and the like. Uh, when we are going into new construction or even retrofitting where the fixtures are older, discolored, cracked maybe, where they, they want to replace those old high bay type fixtures, the cost is substantially lower than a brand new metal halide fixture with the same accessories. So uh, uh, bear that in mind. You're saving about $50 before you even turn the lights on. Uh, this is very rare in energy efficiency in general and maybe uh, exclusive in lighting where the energy efficient alternative actually costs less than the older technology. It's very rare and definitely applies here.